Alright, this is Bucket, and we're going to be coaching Riskit. Riskit is the Pac-Man, and he's going against Palutena. Palutena is Pac-Man's worst matchup, and that being because she has a counter, she has really good air, air um, safe pressure on Pac-Man, she can put on good around hi her, his hydrogen pretty well. She, that's basically it, right? Basically, just forces Pac-Man to approach, which is where Palutena strives, right? Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the one on the right, bottom right, is a commentator. I, I just, whatever, right? <laughs> I'll turn on the volume, actually. Right. It's way to go. Alright. Let's we'll see how you start. So, this is a really bad matchup for Pac, in my opinion. Pac say it's doable, but I just... That was extremely greedy. I think it's a really <laughs> bad matchup for Pac, in my All opinion. Right. Pac say it's just, doable. Yeah, I was fine, but doing that... You know what I mean? I just think it's really greedy. awful, like... But I'm I'm sure uh, risk with the right cause and That's Dobby fine. with the match. Oh, that was. Oh my God, right. that was amazing! Like just the pressure off stage against Palu. It's gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The champion like, interrupted. Her, it. Yeah, it's good. He forced Dobby to take. We run away because we have the lead. There's another reason to, to approach her. We have key. Right, so again, I want you to hold on to this key. I know the high just here. I know your punter are here. I know it's tempting. I know what you want to do. Just miss the one right there. Yeah, exactly. Because if I, you're playing against me, imagine playing against me, who is someone who knows the pack my matchup pretty well. I would expect that, right? I, I, so okay, he's gonna throw key, right? And that's all it takes. Still hits him, but still. You gotta throw a little bit unexpectedly, because uh, most people kind of catch on. Okay, I'm playing against Pac-Man. There's, there's a hydrogen in front of him. He's got key. He's gonna throw the key like right now, right? You know what I mean? So Just make, yeah. make uh, it a little bit nice conspicuous. Right now. Now this can get tricky. Yeah, yeah. Um, like it's usually <laughs> a very. Oh. Um, this is combo here. Now this can get tricky. Um, uh, yeah, like, you should have just done there or down there, right there. Yeah, that's fine. Pack gets the lead. I was good. Yeah, yeah. Then you know, Pilot has. Oh, I tell you, kind of took a. You immediately kind of took on to the um as soon as the hydro hit you kind of took advantage Palo, of it is what i'm trying to say Pac i was really good your advantage stage is really good already then you know pilot has to play aggressive and pack well, plays her into at you. his best all right she air dodged as soon as you up throw she air dodged you can you can take advantage of that when he has the lead and makes people approach so so her side b does go through the hydrant right no also the hitbox for the um no the hitbox the angle at which the side B launches you is up. So make sure that when she does side B the hydro, you're not surprised when it launches upwards, right? Can, can so don't pack, jump over but, you or know, whatever. Pack can afford to play more patient. It's not like when Palu has the lead. Again, it's okay. You get, you keep, you're getting her, but it's like you it gotta be a, a little really bit more battle for pack. strategic with the key. Oh, good bell. Right? That's fine. And yeah, well, not already 118% on the good. second stock. All right, so she jumped out of pressure, right back, and then she uh, saw you approaching, and she back you, right? So she jumps back out of pressure. So I'm, uh, that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, that down. Could control. you have gone out of that? Again, we didn't even have to have that situation happen if you weren't greedy, right here, right? Grab glitch. Yeah, the down throw back air will be sealing the stock. We, we should be going bell here. Guy from yep. risk there. All right, this is the situation. You throw the ball in here. She's holding shield. Her her options are now is if she nares out of shield. That that bell already hit her shield. She cannot get stunned by the bell unless you want walk up here and regrab it and then z drop it or throw it back down. Right? Um, she cannot get hit by the bell. So what she can do is jump shield, do an aerial, uh, do an aerial, and then she catches the bell, and now you don't have bell anymore. That's what she could have done, but it doesn't look like she knew. It. Again, she jumped out of pressure away from you. Remember what I was saying? Uh, most people in that situation will roll towards you, and that's basically it, right? right. She could have cut the bells. What I'm trying to say, and that was really risky. Pressuring on the if ledge, she had understood it a little bit better. Straight. That was good. So uh, before letting the her neutral be hit the hydro first, you took advantage because it was uh, hurt because of the side B, and you, you didn't char you didn't charge through anything. I really Shit. like that. Get hit by hit the hydro. That's good. Get the key again. Oh, this is dangerous, Pac-Man with key. Yeah, for what to keep, but that no reason for not that to do that. Pretty nicely. We should be looking I'm not sure that. if that's true. I don't think it is. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have hit there. Yeah. And that a apple will be sealing the stock. All right, the Galaga. Gala yeah, be a little bit more patient on the ledge catch. with that, because again, most people do know about the Galka thing right here. So they'll like they'll do something like uh, a safe a aerial or move to make it to kind of bait you out, and then hold shield, and then the punch you. Right. Be a little bit Very more patient. Good from you want to punish that you know you can punish, uh -oh. or just roll. You can do free roll, oh. right? Okay, risk makes it back though. I don't, I'm not sure if that would have pineapple. Looks You're like extremely it didn't, greedy on Mudge, and she will catch onto that. I promise you, if she's a good player. Yeah, so I I, I knew you were going to do that too. 
So put in the okay. So Apple, obviously, we all know, goes diagonally, right? But you're on top of the platform, and look, look how much time. Look, your opponents are here, and you're on orange. See that? As soon as we saw a dashboard, we should just hold shield or something like that. We have no that about Apple's not gonna hit. A little greedy there. That's what I'm yep, saying. Charging through the platform is really scary because Palo just just sees, Palo just sees a free nair there. See, I like how you kind of took said show and trying to take it. It's up fine. To do, but it's totally very fine. doable. Oh, some guy. Again, she airdodges out of the combos, combos. Right. Take advantage of that. Doesn't get too much though. And loses stage control for that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the hydro grab. <laughs> but Dobby, uh, I just there, buddy. Uh, just uh, I'm not sure if he. Okay, uh, you should. Okay, first of all, it doesn't even look like he died out. <laughs> but Dobby, uh, all right, she grabbed us, and she could have, she could have threw back three, but it's not gonna kill you even if you di out. There's no reason. Sorry. Yeah, there's no reason not to di this way. Is what I'm saying, right? Uh, it does not look like you di this way at all to try uh, to avoid a follow up. I'm and then you directional air dodge. No, 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 no. Not new, sure new. if he knew that it was coming, but yeah, he dodged it pretty nicely. Hi, sir. Okay, so most pack ones yeah, do have the habit. Uh, they'll do this, like they'll land the aerial there in the situation, and then immediately they'll hold shield, and then they'll do like a forward air to shield if their opponent's approaching them, right? So yeah, she's gonna grab you there. Yeah, down throw back air again. Risk diing in on the Palu down throw. Yeah, again, like you gotta di out. That will mean yeah, you that have the backer will be true in that scenario. So there's a little dojo right there. You do not there. want to di in against Palu down throw. Why are you going for bow right now? It's forty percent. It's better if you go like Key or Galka right now. Nah. Sometimes orange or apple, right? Dabby's eating up the game, but still Risk has uh, a little bit of a lead. That's totally fine. Get it in on top of her. I feel like I Dobby's that. playing the more rushdown game against Palo. It's not, it's not choosing to go the camp approach. So right about now, you should be going for Bell, right? You go for Bell, and then you get like a one nair, one or two nairs, and then you throw the Bell out, and then you can kill, right? Palutena is not very heavy. What, why Palo does so well in this matchup is because traditionally, if you put a hydrant between uh, your character and like Pac-Man, um. Yeah, but you gotta be a little bit more. You gotta hold onto that key a little longer. You gotta, you gotta make the key extremely threatening, right? Like back throw her off stage and then like look at her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make the key a little bit more the threatening. Hydrant or There's a double faint again. She's trying to make you jump out of the shield and then hit you with the back air, right? Because her back air is invincible and so I think it's a dash. A There's a like, apple again. It doesn't yep. really give a shit up. about the hydrant. So it looks like you, you try z dropping the water, the apple into the water. <laughs> To be a little sick and put it here, but when when really you could have just threw it forward and the, it would have hit the water and it would hit her, right? Really and it would have been still cool. He didn't need to use it. You need what I'm saying. Uh, Give a about the hydrant. <laughs> that is not that's safe. Did she really land on the top of your shield? What's going on here? Yeah, this don't narrow what? out a shield every single time, right? Thank you. You're doing out. Good, good, good. Oh, game of watch. You didn't get your. Uh, I thought you were gonna get through the apple again because you're on top of the platform. Thank God you didn't do it. Hold shield a little bit longer though. I right? really don't know. Uh, back throw. All right, what's such guard? This is scary. We'll see go the hydro. Okay, okay, yeah, totally yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. What I gotta submit this is you gotta be a little bit careful with her indulgent feints and what else is there. Uh, her edge guarding is a little bit tricky, right? She's gonna kind of catch on to your timing, which you can you kind of choose in the same times over and over again. And then when she's sitting back here, you do neutral, uh, get up, and then you do the spot dodge or whatever, right? I'm just saying she will catch on to these things if she adapts, right? Let's get into the game number two. All right, we got game number two here. PS2 again to run back. Let's see what happens, all right? We got a really good start last time. <clears throat> all right, game two. Just, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I saw that. No, 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 I saw it. <laughs> you can't get away from me, Ruska. All right, game two. What's that? <laughs> DI outs. Don't worry about getting aerials. She narrow loops, right? You just focus on DIing out. It's just, you are extremely impatient, pac is what I'm saying. Like, you keep jumping above the ledge and to get back on stage. You keep um, jumping down here to double jump forward air. Right? You, you want to get back in a fight, like, immediately. You gotta be a little bit more patient, right? It's so, in, th in that situation, DI out. Bring it back. So, see, like that. You keep, like, yeah, instead of going back to the down low and going to the ledge, and, like, seeing as she's gonna jump off the edge guard you or whatever, um, you just... Kind of the, again, she lets you, so it's a totally okay. And it's it's totally okay to do it sometimes, but every single time, risk it. Try rolling through tram good. trampoline. 
Again, the air dodge issue is not going to hit you. Like, it not? Is so, running it. it's hard. But you have to get into the mindset of, um, is my opponent waiting for the Back. air dodge? So, look at this. Ready? Try rolling through. Bam. Right. So, your opponent, your, your opponent is thinking, what, what is my pack? What is Pac-Man going to do? Is he going to dodge it away? This way? This way? Is he going to throw the hydro down? Is he going to air dodge? Or is he going to fast forward aerial? Right? Tramp. Tramp. Most people will just wait for something, right? If, if you're going to jump away, then they'll try and catch your um, hydrogen landing. If you're air dodged, then it's really easy to react to it, right? Some people won't, jump, won't immediately jump up to get you. Be a little bit more patient before you air dodge, right? It's very dangerous. She's not put. What? Okay. She's not punishing you for work? it, but still. The shit, There's a lot of things she's not punishing you. That, that trap. Damn. But at, at least the. Wait, what? Does the trampoline cover new normal get yeah, up and yeah, roll? Yeah, Hunter? <laughs> Hunter, that's uh, this game, this normal game. get up and roll? <laughs> Hunter? Um, so either... I honestly don't know what to say about this. It's whatever. Hunter, that sounds broken. <laughs> why didn't you do that? It looked like you just stared at me. I don't know why I didn't what? do anything. You could have jumped up the hydrant. You could have not landed on the hydrant. I was a little scary. Okay, so look. She's not in disadvantage, right? Don't away, get the hydrogen down, and then bam. We had primed the hydrogen. Actually, it looks like you missed your nair. So it looks like you're trying to put that hydrogen in, but you missed the nair. So I'm not gonna get too upset. I'm just saying it's a little scary. Yeah. Very good setup there. You didn't need to follow up on that. Yeah. Very good. You could have just put there. the the apple down for pressure, and there's no because of the chaplains right here, there's no way you could follow up on that. Just yeah, that's why you put the hydrogen down and then See, she, see how she approaches you, right? Because the the, the chaplain there, because if you put the Z drop the apple and then went for grab, that would be totally fine. Again, you can't really mash. I'm saying you can't really mash in landings because Palutena is really good against um people who like push button that disadvantage, right? You can't like land with the uh, aerial air single time dash duck's really good. You can't jump at her with an a forward air back is really good, right? Those aerials are really it's threatening. Like not so, right, so you have to, you have to be very careful whenever you decide when do you want to fastball an aerial, right? And it's risk it. So I'm actually gonna adjust accordingly. Jump, again, she keeps jumping out of disadvantage so, and air dodge. The, the mo mo I, most commonly, I think I've seen uh, air dodge, but still, right? Risk it. It is busted. What the hell? All right, so you, you don't do that. There's no reason up air up there. You could air dodge. You have to <laughs> drop from ledge till hydrant despawns. No, air dodge. Di out. You need to get out of there. Wow. You will die. You can jump, but you risk getting belled. Damn, that's scary. Yeah, Bell's totally fine, I don't care. Right here. Again, a little scary. You prime the Hydra and the Palatine is right on your tail. You gotta be a little bit more... Um, what's the word? I'm just gonna say intelligent when 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 you use the when you prime the hydrant because again you uh, you want to be the second person to hit the hydrant, right? Don't prime the hydrant for your opponent is what I'm saying, right? Hunter, you gotta do that more, dude, for sure. All right, her fair is safe on shield. It looks like she didn't space that well at all, though. Hunter, you again. gotta do that more, dude, for sure. All right, so she your pal this Palantina is not doing a good job at putting back air and forward air pressure on your shield because both of those moves are safe and shield. So, so what she and what I've seen is you keep doing nair and, or down air out of shield every single time. So what she could be doing is forward on her shield and hold shield and then punish a down air or punish a nair out of shield, right? That's what she could be doing. Again, with people who has two, especially two, uh, safe, and shield, safe and shield aerials, you gotta be kind of smart when you use uh, out of shield option, right? And if they keep land, if they keep, and they start to land in front of you with a safe aerial and then the shield, grab them. Shield grab them, right? Good patience by Dobby. Oh my god. But yeah, Dobby, uh, this, this game If you're a little bit farther away, you could punch that. It's a lot better it's for okay. him. Looks like Risk's trick are... Like... Alright, you can either go for key or bell here. Risk it setups I'm pretty are sure you can get like a back air. Right oh, very good. Bell to back air. I'm gonna get Galka here. Yeah, you I recommend putting the hydrogen down first and then going here and uh, B reversing. No, do it. Hitting the Galka gets the wall and catching it, right? Do that first because then she has to whip at the hydrant before um, doing this, right? And because you, I almost get to you really want to drop down the Galka, that that hydrant is a little bit extra percent. And if she decides to hit it, then she possibly uses an unsafe move and you punish it, right? Imagine more in general, yeah. More patience. She's she's waiting for that. She's holding shield around your front of face and you just, you have you, you the instinct to do it. Again, you're really, you want to play fast. And, and I can tell. 
Uh oh, I don't think Risk can make it from that. Yeah, Risk no. it, yeah. Alright, so what I'm seeing is Risk is you guys slow down a little bit, right? That's basically if a game number two, it's gonna end up game three. Uh, all right, we're going to get game number three here. Yeah. I want to get a little something clear because I keep kind of criticizing you on being aggressive when you shouldn't be. Um, when you should be aggressive is as soon as you get that neutral win. And then you just keep pushing your advantage to you. Right? I don't, I, and you can keep being aggressive, but you got to be kind of smart when you're aggressive. Right? You can't just land in front of a Palutena when she just back dashes and then uh, dash attacks when you land a fast for aerial, right? You can't, can't, you can't do that. You can't do narrow shit. You can't jump back to the stage and not grab ledge every single time. You can't, you gotta mix up your ledge timings, right? So you can play fast, but you gotta, you gotta mix up when you play fast, if that, if that makes sense, right? Again, and you gotta work on your advantage state a little bit more because she jumped and she air dodged away. I wanna see you get one of those reads. So you, I, wanna see, I wanna see you be better at advantage state. If you wanna be fast, you gotta be really good at advantage state, right? I, I wanna game. see that more from you. And yeah, stay in Palu pack. Looks like Dobby's going solo Palu this tournament. Anyway, we got Town and City. I'm going to Town and City this All time. Right, town and City. <laughs> Shut up. That's a <laughs> All right, it got a little bit bigger stage. Um, it's yeah. Uh, we'll see how we'll see how she plays. Okay. Yeah, Pac-Man loves this stage, so I understand the the counter pick. Oh, here we go. Dobby. He's <laughs> playing. I understand the the counter pick. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Dabby's playing. Now he's playing Palu versus Pac Man. Yeah, so um, what I'm seeing he's is that like, she, like, she, keep, she keeps going for like two. going for like two frames and stuff. Like uh, down tilt right here, which is stupid. That's two frames. Playing Palu versus um, Pac You should be able to. Because like, Pac Man's really good at mixing up his timing when he grabs ledge. Like you can side B like right here. And pop out right about here. You want to go that high to where that the two frame will hit you, and then you can solve the hydrant, and then you can trampoline back to the ledge, right? You can mix up these timings. You don't have to side the ledge. You know what I mean? Thank God I didn't. Don't. Again, you're really aggressive right here, right? She's good. Again, <clears throat> if she's a little bit better at kind of figuring out why when you're aggressive, then she can really break you in. Right, she can just push your um, disadvantage because your disadvantage isn't the greatest either. You like to hold in and then air dodge or whatever. Right, she can really push you in. Is what I'm saying. You gotta be very careful. Let's air dodge again. Oh, I like the fuck. Again, as soon as she's you're done with the combo and you kind of push your advantage state, she jumps away. I think this is the second time. Uh, last time she kind of jumped up and waited for you to attack her with an aerial, then she back you. This time she kind of jumped. And in, in general, when you do a combo, she jumps. And during a, a throw combo, she air dodges, you know what I'm saying, right? All above the so if you want to be, be aggressive as Pac-Man, you have to be better at this advantage state stuff, right? The eye with down air. That's so what she should have done there. Let me, so let me show you what she should have done there. Bam, you've done the combo. Oh. You run up here. Awesome. Oh, and, then like should, and then you go. You jump up here. And then you go. She's going to jump. And you, you, you double jump here and you up air. The follow or you just wait a little bit and then you back air, right? You kind of put a little pressure. Above the and she decides to jump up there and do back air, then you fast fall. Wait for her to do the back air animation to be done. And then you up tilt or up air. And then you keep pushing your advantage state, right? Air. That's so sick from Risk. It. And clean recovery as well. Oh, but that forward little, smash land a little bit farther behind the there. Jump. And Risk it loses his first stock. Oh, Bell Rica. See, you juggle her, she air dodges. You do like a Gaga combo, and you you combo her horizontally, she jumps away. Catch. It, it jumps towards you, or up, that's what I'm saying, right? Oh, Nair so, going through the bell yeah. there. Yep, cannot punish with that. Neutral tech. It looks like, actually, tech. She could, because she rolled after doing neutral tech, I think she kind of tried rolled teching, but you can you can Nair. definitely charge S smash on top of her if you if you hit it for if rising forward air, right? Hydrant dealt too much uh, shield stun. Yeah, okay, as I was just saying, do not, do not try double jump, waste to burn your double jump, and then start charging your fruit. The only way you can stop charging your fruit is three ways. Air dodging, throwing it, no, that's it. You, you throw it or air dodge it, or finish charging the fruit, right? You do not want to waste your double jump and then start charging your fruit this high in midair when your opponent's not in disadvantage, right? So you could, she could easily run up here, and this, this hydrant's hers, too. This hydrant won't even hit her. She can run up here, forward air you, right? It's super easy for her. Or she could have waited for the air dodge. Because if I was playing, okay, he wastes his double jump. I'm just going to run under him where the apple can't hit me. And then I'm going to wait for the air dodge. And I'm just going to charge an S-Master here, right? Here we go. Dabi looks like he's playing the more, uh... Basically, what Pac-Man really hates is when people don't give a shit that he's behind the hydrant. I feel like that's that's when Pac-Man just, uh, just crumbles a bit. Especially in the way Palu does it. 
Uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was actually really good. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. So remember earlier when I said that actually, um, don't air, don't like have a habit of air dodging because people people will wait for it. No wait. And as soon as it, as soon as it's a threat, then air dodge. It does it. Look at this. Ready? So you di out first. That's amazing. And then you don't force an air dodge. Immediately, if you had di out and then like direction air dodge, I would not have been very happy. But you you did you you tacked it. You held shield immediately after. Oh, yeah. he knew. That was amazing. He was was, for you got to stock us. That's really the hardest good. read, dude. Because he didn't panic with the air dodge, right? And he died like out. He could have just went for a down throw. All right, so uh, this is what I said earlier. He was going for the hardest read, dude. But I feel like he could. He could. Fam, right here is the two. The two frame, right? You want to hit it kind of low because it pack one does pop up quite a bit. Have just went for. So look, you hit right about here. You, if you hit right here, you pop up right about here. For a down throw. Yeah, uh, actually, maybe. Maybe not on the stage. The maybe maybe stage is like FD. Three, I might be dude. wrong. Am I a liar? I feel like he could he could have just went for a down throw. Uh, be careful on doing that, obviously. Back right? air there. But I you, you don't even have to going. hit he the stage at all. Went. You could have just charged the side B a little bit and go like right here because she hasn't been jumping up stage and then you know for you don't, have to, you don't hit the you don't have to hit the stage at all. Back air there. But I understand what he was going for. See, back okay, so I'm gonna put this out. So, but I bam, see how you keep. She can't push pressure right here immediately. That's because you keep doing options immediately. See, as soon as you start playing patient, I understand. She gets back, and you get a free. You just get back to stage freely, right? He was going for. You land farther back here because she's been pressuring you the dash tech and uh, force smash, and it's been hitting you past the hydrant. That's good. That's, good. Uh, that's what I was talking about. Forward air is sufficient shield. I like that you hold shield a little bit longer so she doesn't stuff out with the uh, forward tilt or whatever. For the right? tech. I was fine, but the roll back air is the thing. Back throw. Yep. All right. So yeah, sets up the the trampoline, but no follow up there from the ledge trap. Key's fine here. Yep. Yeah. Tr throws key immediately, dealing some percent. But yeah. Back. All right. So she's playing really defensive. So, huh. Where Palu this is where the dilemma starts. Do you want? Do you think you can perform better if you don't approach her at all, or do you think you're gonna do better if you just put on a relentless um, pressure, it's right? The and then trend. you camp, and then you put relentless pressure, and you force her to approach, and, and right? Yeah, What's better? Yeah, the hydrant takes the wow, 34% from that. Yeah, so if it hits her shield, it does pop backwards, right? It didn't look like so much damage, but it will. It, okay, this is the second time she rolled behind you after you're doing a safe aerial shield. If you had like waited for it, you could have gone. You could have killed her. It was a lot. Um. Yep. Not air dodging through the explosive flame. That's carried. You don't want to be above Palu too much. Back throw. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I don't think uh, it connects at this percent at all. Yep. But yeah, there's no reason to do a full up air there at all. Yep, but that back. Like, okay, right, 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 this is what I said earlier. Look, ready? Because she's, you keep doing options immediately. She like, put, like, she keeps putting pressure. She covered jump. She covered uh, whatever here. Like, I need to get up or, or um, double jump. She d d d d d jump down, <laughs> double jump, right? And then as soon as, soon as like um, you start, you don't, you're not doing anything. She goes back. Look how much room you have to neutral get up. Look how much room you had to jump and then dodge him. That's Nair kind of freaked you up here. Yep, but that back air. Well, because I you want to keep being aggressive on ledge, you keep you know, getting uh, hit. Catch on the jump. As soon as you start being patient against this Palo, she can't do anything. Like so she doesn't know what to from do. Dabby. That was good. I, I, I liked how you landed behind like on her. Risk it from Dabby. That was actually really good. I thought that you landed behind her instead of in front of her. So she can't she'll grab you or, or Nair her. That it hurt you. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna show you something. Here, so as I heard it, the first water just went off. So right about in a second, the ne the next wave, the second wave of water is gonna push. You have plenty of time to charge your orange and throw into the water, right? Or you can jump this way, face to the right, and then jump off the water and back air, right? Th those are you like the two options up there, or up air in that situation. Go back there. You go about here. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful with those grabs. Yeah, she likes to roll away from you. A lot of Pac-Man, like that's their bad habit, like just uh, using grabs at the wrong times. Yeah, it's an explosive flame, but that key will trade in his favor there. I feel. 
Uh -oh. Thank God. Gets hit by that Gala guy and Del's. I should take roll in this time. Is dealt thirty six percent now. This is a very even game. All right, so I want to show you something. Don't forget. I've never seen. I have because I haven't seen you do it yet. You can roll past Hydrant, right? So right back here. Is as soon as she we see her get back, she, um, we should be like, hey, <laughs> she's gonna do a laggy projectile. Either new should be or a side B. You roll past here. You let the water push you. And you grab her, you F smash her, you tight tilt to your dash decker, right? Six percent. You don't forget you can roll past this hydrant. And now it's this not is a, a unstoppable game. force, right? This could for sure go either way. Oh, uh, the sneaky apple going over. She's going towards this time. Bouncing around. Oh, uh, see exactly what I was talking about. Look, look. Let me show you. Let me show you. This could you for I'm sure, sure you know what I'm, I'm going to say. Uh, look at this. Bam! Apple Avenger State. We have Avenger. We're juggling platform. here horizontally, and she jumps. Bouncing around. Right? You see that? Round. Breathing all those jumps with the back air. Dash took it safe. Crossing up the shield, but the F tilt is not uh, around. Let me see that again. Breathing all those jumps with the back air. Crossing up the shield, awesome, but the yeah. F So Dash took it safe. You baited you bait out an attack. You shield the side tilt. You shield the entire side tilt, and you back out of shield because you knew it was punishable. Amazing. So there's right? not gonna be a suitable punish for that. I'm gonna go with bell here. All right. Oh, so okay, not I'm gonna show you something. Suitable punish for that. You, Pac-Mans have a tendency of jumping off the platform to put them at the hydrogen or whatever, instead of just falling off and putting them to the hydrogen. Because this is this is more safe, but it is punishable, right? The, the, let me show you right now. She look, you jumped off the platform and look where she is, right? She read that. Oh, oh, so now scary. you need to think, okay, she Let's read that. I need to be more careful when I jump at the platform, right? Stop just staying on stage and going for. Again, look at this. As soon as you're patient, you get value. Down tilt. Look at that. All right, key or bell here. It's your choice. Again, if you hit the shield, also she's rolling towards you a lot when you get bell, right? Shields the bell. Ooh. Oh, please. Okay, don't throw bell meat. I want you to just stare at her. Look, I'm gonna show you something. Bam, we get bell. So as soon as we know that bell it hits the shield, it pops backwards, so you don't panic and run up here and get bell for some reason. It's because we get we catch bell and she rolls towards us, and then we because we know we don't have enough time to hit her because she's gonna shield. Shield. Like this. <clears throat> we go. What is she gonna do? I have Bell. She's not gonna do another shield option, right? If she does, she's dead. Cause I'm just gonna hold shield and punish whatever it is. If she does a rising bear, it's punishable. If she does a turn around grab, you you can probably react to that, right? But her safest option in this situation is jump, right? It's not completely safe. You can still react to it, throw Bell, and then side B, right? Or you can just do bear. I, side B is more valuable, right? She can roll. Either way, this th th those are her, like the three main options out there, or it's just sit and shield, but shield can can't last forever, right? Those are those are her options. I want you to just look at her because she doesn't have an amazing out of shield option. If this was a game watch, she he could have just up be out of shield and then he just floats somewhere else, right? It's much harder to hit him. Also, he's got the threat of the the bucket. I'm bucket, but he also has a bucket and he can reflect the bell, right? So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, that's also threatening. But this is a game watch. This is Paltina. Goes to the bell. Ooh. Yeah, Dobby jumps in time because that could have been a shield break right there. Again, I want you to be a little bit more um, evasive with the two frames. See, she's getting a lot of value off the two frames. You have tools to mix up your. And yeah, uses the same trampoline. That you have tools to mix up your let's go. Down right? earlier, very smart from Risk It. This is now. Oh, the water! The water just shot the key in the other direction. Ah, <sighs> you're scaring uh -oh. me. This is scary. Anyone punish game? It. Oh, that was the worst Drop. punish you could have possibly like down, done. Down air doesn't do much. Oh, but the hydrant. That's not enough. Not gonna do it. Barely. Wow. All right. You know, I'm sure you know what's going on because you full, you full hot. So you're gonna forward air this hydrant. This bell's gonna get launched. <sighs> oh, good, good pressure. Good with pressure. The yeah, exactly. Up, but the orange and down. Yeah. Oh, Dobby makes it back. Oh my God. 150%. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, she keeps jumping out of shield pressure. Oh, um, when you pressure shield, right? Oh, the grab. No, you'd hate to see it. The bad habits coming through and the apple. All right. Wait, is this, is this the best of five? But yeah, you, I've already kind of explained mostly. Why is she happy? <laughs> anyway, I kind of explained mostly what's going on. I'm going to see if there's a game of five or four. Four. All, All right, we got game number four here. Uh, um, some characters, same players. Small battlefield. This is just PS2 but smaller. Not much to say there, right? All right, Sentinel and Gabs are gonna be playing off stream. Hold shield longer. 
but that's fine. We can do so, it. So, again with the air dodge thing. Off stream. I like how you kind of wait for it to do like a roar and then you air dodge. That's, that's exactly when you air dodge. Instead of like doing a, a air dodge immediately, right? That's but exactly that's what you need do to do. You gotta. I want you. I want to see you stall the hydrant or something like a, a wall jump or just something to mix up her timing with the two frames, final, right? And then the down tilt. I just going off stage now. Yeah, awesome. So Lucer's final. Let me show you something. Or pointing out at the very least. So bam. So we see her go here, and she has she wasted her double jump, right? So we have so much time to roll, and you realize that you took advantage of it. Great. She keeps rolling after landing. Again, you cut, you throw, you throw combo her. She air dodges, and she jumps. She jumps out of shield pressure. These are the big. The, okay, if you want to be aggressive, these are the things you need to look out for. I I, 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 I pressured her shield. What she's gonna do? She's gonna jump out of shield pressure. I'm, I did a Galka combo. I, I have her in the corner. What she's gonna do? She's just gonna jump. I just threw her. I, I'm gonna throw a combo. What she's gonna do? She's gonna air dodge. Right? These are the things you need to look at. You need to look for. Good air dodge. All right. Uh, we're that's fine. Resetting neutral's fine. I, I probably would have gone done something to it. Let's Fairly even. Just even throwing cherries is fine. Risk gets a 30% combo right there. Very nice with the Galaga. Again, shield pressure. Right. A Dobby being patient. It doesn't look like you DI'd out immediately. Not letting uh, Risk punish that. Uh, uh, down arrow's not the punish. Openings, <laughs> uh, from the jumps. Good. Oh, Again, she you, you pressure her, she jumps. Goes, catching That's amazing. Catching a jump with that up air. Yeah, I feel like Risk is re playing really Not smart. Okay, I think she's like, she's like, she has been rolling after Nucci getting me a few times. I think you're going for the roll right there. I won't, I won't blame you for that. Since Palu is always <coughs> looking to jump. This is really smart. Now, I wonder if we're going to see from Dobby more reflectors because that's something that we've not seen. and it's She keeps catching your landings with grabs. So you can, like, that's the time that you need to direction air dodge, right? Very so as soon as you, like, land, you do direction air dodge or, yeah, basically, you can't, or you land with an aerial. Sorry, you land with an aerial. She can just reflect whenever a hydrant's coming. And I feel like we haven't seen that from Dobby at all. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I like, I like that Risk is going for uh, aggressive options, not letting Palu get away with explosive flaming. I feel like... Okay, so you keep doing... That's a really bad habit you have. You keep doing neutral get up into spot dodge. She took advantage of that. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, um, if you want to be Palu and you're having trouble with explosive flame, what you need to do is not let her use it. And the way you not let her use it is playing aggressive. Like, if you just try to space back and, uh, you know, stay uh, back, <laughs> back and uh, all right. waiting for a pallet to Trying to go a little sauce. Uh, so just go for the outboard key here. Flames. You're going to go get But if you pressure, like, a risk it is doing There's right no here, reason to go for um, Bell here right now. Just go for key or apple. To, you go for it. At least in neutral. Uh, I'm sorry, I blanked out. So again, like you're right under her, and she does. She keeps doing these dodge with faints. All right, I'm, I'm gonna start pointing out all these kind of things uh, uh, in neutral, right? And at least in because those are the things I want you to focus on if you want to be aggressive. Because you, I, I'm, I, you're impatient, as what I could see. Yeah, I, know, I you're you're gonna throw the, uh, the bell up here. I didn't have the water push it. I know you're going for something. You could have done it here. Is you could have primed the bell with the hydrant. And then, since that's the second wave of water, there's not going to be water. You let the bell go, and you just up air the hydrant. And then you fast fall through the platform, you grab her, you throw her into the hydrant. Right? That'll kill her. Again, pressure. What does she do? She jumps. She jumps. She's going to jump. What? These are the worst punishes I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Look how laggy her projectiles are. Both her explosive flames and her neutral B are the most punishable things ever. That was a free ass match, or a free back throw, or anything. Back guard shield, like that. Rar, sorry. Yeah. You, okay. The, another thing I'm seeing is you need to be better at punishing. You could have killed it right here too. There, there's so many opportunities for you to kill. That was a back throw right there. That would have killed. Palatin is not very heavy. Apple. Yeah, okay. Again, this like you're making this kind of obvious, but going through for Apple on top of the platform, pretty damn obvious, right? Look, she even ran, I don't know why she ran up and jumped, but she could have definitely killed you, because I'm pretty sure she reflects upwards. I, maybe that kill you, but I come close to killing you, because Reflectors does amplify damage. 
Thank Ooh, you. I love that. Forward air into the raw back air. Gonna seal out that stock for All right. I Oh, well, again. Still behind, Thanks. though. Dobby has a very, All right. very strong lead here. Looks like we'll he gave up trying to do the Galaga. Galaga can turn things awesome. around. A bear. And does again, you juggle her. What does she do? She air dodges, right? These are the things you need to catch up to. 45%. How many times am I gonna say that? 56. Keeps the train rolling. That was actually really good. Turn things that, that, that's really cool. Does what you just 45%, did. Forty-five percent, fifty-six. So you from the hydrogen, the you, you uh, dash attack into it. You, you put pressure up. You pressure to jump, and then here's the dash attack, and then dash attack does the heavy lag. So you pressure her shield. That was super good. Wow, risk it, risk it, risk it's pressure right now. Sixty-four unanswered. Eighty just evening up the game. Dobby had a really strong lead. Nice. Oh wow, dropping the orange. 100% on Palo already. Good DI. Down throw back air. We're gonna even I'm up pretty the sure you had not some air dodge there. It's not a true combo. It's not a true throw combo. Good. Yeah, risk it. It's not falling for these roll behind ledge traps that Dobby's trying to go for. All right, so right here, yeah, you risk could it have. It's not I'm falling sure. for these roll behind ledge traps that Dobby's trying to go so for. So the water right here, you have, you definitely could have done something cool here. <laughs> you could have done fast fall into F smash. You could have done that into back throw. Uh, yeah, but basically the punch right there was let the water push you into F smash. That was the punch right there. She keeps doing these jump down fares. Two times. Good recovery. Yeah. Dobby keeps trying to go for these uh, roll behinds. These punishes are really bad. The, the, you, that was you have like at least nine stocks in your your pocket that you could have had. Risk it just right? not giving that it to him. That was a cure there. See the explosive go flame. Go bell here. If here's a let's trap, right? We got bell. We throw up here and then bam. We catch him, and now she has a high percent, so she's not gonna have much vulnerability for long. If you Z drop it, um, either off the stage, it will hit. But if you want to cover more options, um, you don't Z drop it. You throw it down. You don't Z drop it. You throw it down right here. This will hit under ledge, right? It all causes. It also causes neutral get up. It causes. It covers get up attack, and it covers jump. The only the only option of throwing the bell right here does not cover is drop down into stall, right, or roll. Or she can also just jump down, jump here, and then um, up B. But again, eh, you don't want to do that all the time. Exactly, you know what I mean? But again, that's, that's the only thing she can do. If you just play aggressive, uh, you Back can here. easily... <laughs> up there works too. Yeah, that was good. And the bell! I'm good good awareness, so you knew the bell was going to launch towards you. That was good. Into the up air. Wow. Risk it really clean with the follow-up. Um, th it is possible. I saw it. I saw it. Into the up air. Wow. Uh, that down tilt does last go pretty far. So if he jumps a little bit later, like right about here, as far out as possible, and then you, then you throw it. Right? It's pretty hard to get that angle, but it's really clean with the follow up from Bell there. Even though it was not direct, just the launch from the Bell knockback. Really, tech roll again. Really good, and that dash attack will be sealing it. All right, last stock situation on a game four. Where uh, if Dobby loses this stock, he his tournament run. That was punishable. All you gotta do is hold shield a little longer. End. That sucks. Right, Dobby really does not want to lose this. Good pressure from Dobby. Again, right go, right she's now. doing what you need to be doing. Right, Dobby, right? You, you pr he's, she's pressing you, really does and not then lose uh, this. like you, like she does, she jumps out of pressure. Good. Look at this. She tried catching it. That's what she need to be doing. Good right? Pressure from Dobby a little right short. Now. She should should have done up air right there, but whatever. Right? I'm just showing examples. Now he's feeling, playing a lot more aggressive, kind of like, like trying to choke uh, Risk it from options. It's working well so far. 91% already. Again, it's stupid, really aggressive in this, this area this again. Be, uh, I think you do that when you get nervous. That Risk might be, again, air dodge when you're comboing. Which I'm vertically. sure Dobby's fishing for it right now. But, uh, oh my god, these pun- oh, oh, these punches, oh. <laughs> flame, but Risket is just playing near Palu at all times. So I'm not going to be able to find the mark. Hey, I was going to say, awesome parry. Yeah, because she's she's right here. The Hydra is here, right? If she does this, there's nothing she do. But the, 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 obviously, the the thing she's going to do is jump down to Ariel, right? Good th good punish. Oh, good. That was amazing. Wow, Again, jumps out, jumps out of pressure. If you had stopped, if you had not charged fruit, you got him up here, back her. Right? She does a double for air recovery. Edge guarder or let's chopper, whatever Hydrogen you want, right? Blocking Palu's body there. Oh, clanked. The nair saving him from the bell. Uh, from the from the bell. Again, she keep, yeah, she also keeps doing that. She keeps double jumping in this area too, right? Oh, reads that he's gonna fall through the platform. The ledge trap. Oh, scary. 
And yeah, fall through the platform. Again. So something you could have done here is charge the down smash right here. So this is a, a hydro extended hitbox. And also, if you hit, if you um space yourself right, uh, I'm pretty sure CPU did a video on this. If you like down to it right here, but the opposite the hydrants here, so you can't really do that. Basically, if you space the down smash just right, you can hit under ledge. So it covers basically all options, all right? This extends the hitbox and also does some damage. It covers roll and it covers hold on to ledge, right? And it covers jump, right? The ledge trap. You oh, could have 100 down smash right there. And if you down yeah. smash, you would have. You know, forward smash is done. Not died. <laughs> uh, get Gamer 5 here. Let's see what happens. All right, we got hey. Gamer 5 here. This is uh, the ground finale. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, finale. Again. PS2. Okay. So game five on Pokemon Stadium 2. What what else do you want, dude? Peak ultimate. All right, so doing that is okay, but I want to show you it's not a little bit a little bit, a little bit so better. Game five on Pokemon right. Stadium 2. So what, if you want to play a little bit passive during neutral start. Put down the hydrant first, and then you can get back a charge tree, right? What else do you want, so dude? imagine if we had the hydrant right here, and we didn't jump backwards for some reason, right? If we put the hydrant down here or here, it doesn't really matter at this point. You sit, you're sitting back here behind hydrant, and then what is she gonna do? Pickle. She's gonna jump over the hydrant. Imagine the, the imaginary hydrant's here, right? Ultimate right here. You step out that nair, or you weigh out the nair, right? Because it's not safe and shield. Ooh. Punish with down air, okay, grab nair, right? Kind of moving, didn't forty percent. Dabby answering back with a nair train into a back air finish. Did you lose there? Did you lose Dabby answering back with a nair? Oof. Okay, risk it. Kind of sh Yeah, you lost Dalgem right there. Moving, getting forty percent. Dabby answering back with a nair train into a back air finish. Oh, you hate to see it on a game five, dude. Uh, she keeps tech rolling in. You can punish this. Or you can hard punish Risk this. Risk just stay charging and uh, could not cancel the fruit. Yeah, I really, I really wish there was a way to like cancel fruit without air dodging when you don't Dang. dodge him. I really wish there was a way. That'd be so Dabby nice. Be, oh, playing really patient, okay, waiting out the air dodges, making all the right calls, but eats a forward smash from Risk it and again she jumps in this area. So that bell was amazing coverage. Just jumps. You, you got the Risk bell. Catches it with the bell. Right, she's going to air dodge, fast for air dodge, and what do you think she's going to do? What, I've, what I'm going to predict is she's going to roll towards you. Oh, oh, oh. Risk uh, it you roll towards her. <laughs> the bell in hand, Davi, not getting faced by it too much. <sighs> Risk it, please. You got to punish. You got to punish. That, 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 she was dead. Oh, cat oh, caught the jump right there with the bell. And yeah, Dabby that was a good very tech. good oh, she got tech, PS2. But Whatever, no she, she deserved to die. Please, you gotta get these punishes, man. Mean that, PS2 will pull Dabby. that was actually totally pull okay, because she's probably expecting recovery. you mean to do do um, jump down Galaga, right? So rolling was totally okay. That PS2 will pull it's just a free Dabby. roll. Nair. Punch it. She keeps rolling towards you. All right, even game so far. Dabby. Again, she jumps out of pressure. She lands. I, I, I'm, okay. She's gonna do a defensive option after this four there. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna guess shield and then jump. With a slight lead. I, I was close. One, one half close. <laughs> she jumps. Oh, that apple was scary, but Dabby was really done. patient, shielding the whole thing. Good. They trade a hydrant and explosive flame. I think that's about the same damage. But Dabby gets the stage control here. Alright, now, oh, well, you're too slow, but it's okay. <laughs> Just jumping over that uh, bell trap. Alright, I'm getting into this. <laughs> I, I want you to win. <laughs> Alright, we got Bell. She's a cover scent, right? Let's see. Uh, we all know what to grab the Bell, though. It's okay, though. Also, that's something I want to talk about. Her S smash and her dash attack go through the hydrant, and she's been doing that a lot. So, so two things you can do either you can land behind her. Or you can land farther away from the hydrant, and then you can sneak under the hydrant as she hits it above you, and you can grab her, right? Something else that Dobby isn't doing that kind of invalidates Pac-Man is the fact that Palu can just dash attack and catch the bell. The the shield will protect her from getting stunned, you know and she say. can just uh, seamlessly grab the bell. Again, she jumps out of this pressure again. Back good back get intimidated because if you uh, whiff it, then you're going to get stunned. But good in grab. Case, Palu, Palu is a bit safer in that regard. <laughs> Fair enough. Catching the jump with uh, the auto reticle. You keep doing that. Oh, that's good. <sighs> Alright.
risk it. I'm not trying to embarrass you, dude. Everyone does it, I'm sure. You gotta break this habit of yours. F smash, right? She was dead. She was dead meat. She was dead. The, the that, was that was an amazing roll. That was such a good roll. You had so much time to F smash her. I'm pretty sure. You said it again. Good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. You might have been able to go as much there. Very good down air cross up from bell, risk bell, it. It makes bell, it bell, makes Palo drop the shield. All right, so if, okay, so if you did what I said earlier good, with the bell rush trap, cross, you throw bell here, right? From risk it. You got it, and you throw it right here. Th it will it would have killed. It makes it. It looks like she held on a little bit longer, so that would hit under ledge. You just stand right here. You charge that smash. She goes right into it, right? Palo drop the shield. Jumps out of just pressure. Shielding the bell. Very smart from Dobby. Not pressing any buttons that he shouldn't be pressing. I like what I'm seeing. Jumping over, jumping over the key right there. Risk it. It looks like he's just trying to get the stock off with a quick bell, uh, key. Uh -oh, so you seem to have the habit of like falling off the hydrant and, 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 and to do and grab, uh, right? You love to do that. Uh -oh. Good DI yeah, out. See how amazing that DI is? Shield. It's amazing. Direction air dodge, I don't I agree with. You did the, the hydrant already out. No, he's going to do that. So imagine if we were doing this, ready? With the hydrant, the hydrant landing. Right? We put the hydrant down and we we go. That way, away from the opponent. Her back is invincible. You yep. cannot back challenge it. Predicting uh, risk it to go for his zone, and Palo's back. At Don't doll jump and throw fruit. You're forced to throw so the we'll apple be there. That parry on the apple. That that oh. I was completely oh, unsafe. Oh, risk it cannot find this kill. That's looking rough. Dobby looks like he's gonna be sharking his way through win, and the backer will. It looks like the start of backer. So it actually doesn't look Dobby like the start of like backer. Yeah, the start of backer doesn't have invincibility. Sharking his way through win, and the backer will seal it out. But I'm ninety-three percent on risk it. Can all right. So with all our knowledge, and this is the last stock. Don't look at the percent. Don't look at the percent. Don't look at the percent. Pack on this does so much damage so quickly. So we're gonna use all the knowledge we got from the five games, right? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be patient on ledge. She's gonna get back. And this Gal But because you have Galka, oh you drop down. So because you have Galka, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she keeps putting pressure in this area to kind of punish your uh, jump down. And you could have rolled here. And then you could have done a Galka combo, get her 4%. And she's gonna double jump under pressure. You could have backered her. And then she, you could have done some ledge trap, like put the, the hydrogen here, and then down smash, like I said earlier. And then you could have get Bell, because she, she would only launch this way, or she rolled that way. You could get Bell. One Bell, F smash read, like she's gonna, whatever, right? We, you win the game. There's no reason to go. I, I lost the game. Okay, right? combo. Bring it back. Again, if you rolled there. Back. No, the Nair will interrupt. Stop that. doing that. The stupid up air fastball thing. And yeah. Auto Especially when you have a threatening projectile at kill percent, right? Theoretical explosive flame, 123%. You got you. Okay, so if you want to do that side B thing, you hit lower so you go, like, not up here where it's threatening, right? Because it's possible for hit down to and then rar and kill you. You're at kill percent. And is this lead trap going to be it? No. Dobby tries to read the neutral getup. And he goes for it again. Yeah, he went for the neutral getup that time. Risk it again, so on the ledge, but yeah, you got to be yeah, more patient the with the high landings. So I, I can make a list. I, I, I think I should make a list of what you, you could be doing better. And not so much Risk as adapting, but as a again. player. Yeah, he went for the neutral getup that time. Right? So look. The hydrant covers this area, right? So it's going to force shield. It also forces her not to approach this way, right? So she has to approach this way, or she has to hope that you're going to land on top of him. Look right there, right? You also, most platforms have a habit of like um, jumping, fast flying off the hydrant and landing on top after landing on top of it, right? So what you get it on here is he a little bit more patient. Again. Yeah, he went with for the, the hydrant landing. that time. So, okay, so you burnt your delve jump right there. Uh, there's no reason to be burning Del. Uh, maybe so you just get a little higher so you can avoid a, a full hop back here, right? So you put the you burn a Del jump, whatever. So what you can done here is land here as far as possible as you can, right? I know because you're an aggressive, but you're an impatient player. You don't want to. You don't want to go to ledge. You want to. You want to beat her really smart and Because of that, you lost. Is what I'm gonna say, right? Because you're an impatient player. You want to get in. Uh, you're lost, right? So you can be a little bit more patient and, and just in general. You can be better at pushing your advantage state. You can be your disadvantage state got better and better as it went on. So I'm I'm pretty happy with the disadvantage state. What I'm ha happy with is your hydrogen landing. So you could have been a lot better with landing with the hydrogen, right? But your disadvantage was definitely much better. Like uh, at first you weren't DIing the down tilt, or down throw, and down tilt at all, and then you started DIing out, and then you were started air dodging immediately, and then you stopped air dodging immediately. That's something I really liked. You you knew you were doing this back when you used some tech that I really liked, right? 
So you're not a bad player. Like no one has, ever, no one of coach has been a bad player. It's just these little things that they need to fix, and then they become really good players, right? You fix those things, risk it, and you become a really good player. That's what I gotta say. See ya.